Today we're looking at the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, VOO, listed on the New York Stock Exchange. We'll look at how much dividend income it provides each year, dividend yield, payment frequency, total performance, and the management fee. VOO is an ETF provided by Vanguard, who own and operate the fund. Vanguard are the ones who own the underlying shares in each of the individual companies. So when we buy shares in the ETF, we buy from Vanguard, who continually issue new units in an open-end fund, and not the individual shares inside the ETF. VOO tracks the performance of the S&P 500 index before fees, expenses, and tax. The ETF provides low-cost exposure to the S&P 500 index and is a widely recognized benchmark of U.S. stock performance that is dominated by the largest U.S. companies and leading industries of the U.S. economy. This ETF suits buy-and-hold investors primarily seeking long-term capital growth with some dividend income. It pays distributions, which are dividends from the ETF, four times a year, with a yield of 1.41%, which would equate to $1,410 of dividend income for every $100,000 invested. It has a management expense ratio of 0.03% per year, so for every $100,000 invested, it will cost $30 per year. And this fee is automatically subtracted from the ETF unit price, so you won't actually see any fees being taken out from your brokerage account. Since VOO tracks the US markets, it is concentrated towards technology companies, the largest portion of the fund at 30% is in technology, followed by financials at 13% and healthcare at 12%. Materials, utilities and real estate companies make up the smallest percentage of the fund under 3% each. The benefit of investing in the S&P 500 include its historical outperformance long term over broader indexes and other countries, market breadth covering a wide range of American industries and instant diversification, reducing the impact of specific industries or companies. The bulk of the US stock market returns have come from capital gains, and with dividend reinvestment, this leads to larger compounding growth over time. Since inception, VOO has had an average annualised return of 14%, which includes both capital growth and dividends. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance, but it's a good sign of improving business fundamentals, continually driving each stock higher within the ETF. With dividends reinvested, the cumulative return becomes much better. Reinvesting these dividends creates the larger compounding effect, exponentially increasing our returns, the longer we have our money in the fund. This is the approach I take investing for the very long term using ETFs, to one day live off the investment portfolio as passive income through dividends or selling down small parts of the position.